हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द चैप्टर नंबर थ्री ऑफ कमर्शियल जोग्राफी दैट इज रोल ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज एंड जोग्राफिकल सिग्निफिकेंस वन ऑफ द टॉपिक इन दैट इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन रेफर्स टू अ प्रोसेस ऑफ अ चेंज इन टेक्नोलॉजी यूज टू प्रोड्यूस गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज As the historical record shows, the developed countries of the world broke the vicious circle of poverty by industrialization, rather than focusing on agricultural or the production of natural resources. Definition: According to Wilbert Emur R. Jianbadar, it is much broader process of economic development which has in view the integrated development of all. other sectors that is agriculture power transport and other services moving ahead role of industries in economic development industrialization plays a vital and complex role in economic development of underdeveloped countries they are growth of infrastructure rapid growth has resulted in the expansion of infrastructural facilities the development of modern industries has stimulated the growth of transport and communication increase in national income industrialization allows country to make an optimal use of their scarce resources which increases quality and quantity of goods manufactured in that country which leads to increase the contribution which leads to increase their contribution in gross national product higher standard of living in an industrialized society workers is more due to their higher productivity their earning has been increases which leads to increase their standard of living economic stability a nation that depends on production and exports of raw material and agricultural product cannot achieve a higher economic growth due to unrestricted due to restricted and fluctuating demand for agricultural product and nat- natural resources or raw material along with the uncertainties of nature itself hampers the economic progress and leads to unstable economies industrialization is best way to providing economic stability improvement in balance of payment industrialization changes the pattern of foreign trade in the country it increases the exports of manufactured goods which are more profitable in foreign exchange but at the same time processing the raw material at home reduces the imports of goods thereby helping to conserve foreign exchange the export orientation and import substitution effects of industrialization helps to improve the balance of payment stimulated progress in other sectors industrialization stimulates progress in of other sectors of the economy a development in one industry leads to the development and expansion of related industries for example the construction of transistor radio plant will develop the small battery industry this is given as a backward linkages so development of one industry will leads to the development of the raw material or the requirement of those industries in another case the construction of milk processing plants adds to the production of ice cream as well this is an forward linkage so development and increase in the production of one industry will leads to the their further development or processing products of other industries increase employment opportunity industrialization provide increase employment opportunity in small and large scale industries in an industrial economy industry absorb underemployed and unemployed workers from an agricultural sector therefore increases the income of the economy specialization of labor industrialization promote a specialized labor this division of work increases the marginal value of product of labor in other words specialized labor is more profitable the income of a worker in an industrial sector will be higher on the average than the worker in an agricultural sector moving ahead factor influencing the location of industries many important geographical factors and non geographical factors will be affecting the location of industries the geographical factors such as availability of raw material 
पावर रिसोर्सेस वॉटर बॉडीज लेबर मार्केट्स एंड ट्रांसपोर्ट फैसिलिटीज विल बी अफेक्टेड बिसाइड्स दिस जोग्राफिकल फैक्टर्स अदर हिस्टोरिकल ह्यूमन पॉलिटिकल एंड इकोनॉमिक फैक्टर्स ऑल्सो अफेक्ट्स द लोकेशन ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द जोग्राफिकल फैक्टर रॉ मटेरियल द लोकेशन ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज इज समाइम्स डिटर्माइंड सिंपली बाय द लोकेशन ऑफ रॉ मटेरियल मॉडर्न इंडस्ट्री इज सो कॉम्प्लेक्स दैट अ वाइड रेंज ऑफ रॉ मटेरियल इज नेसरी फॉर द ग्रोथ फिनिश प्रोडक्ट ऑफ वन इंडस्ट्री मे वेल बी द रॉ मटेरियल फॉर अन अदर फॉर एग्जाम्पल आयन प्रोड्यूस बाय आयन इंडस्ट्रीज सर्व एज अ रॉ मटेरियल फॉर स्टील मेकिंग इंडस्ट्रीज इंडस्ट्रीज विच यूजेस हेवी एंड बल्की रॉ मटेरियल इन देर प्राइमरी स्टेज ऑफ प्राइमरी स्टेज इन लार्ज क्वांटिटीज आर यूजली लोकेटेड नियर द सप्लाई ऑफ रॉ मटेरियल इट इज ट्रू इन द केस ऑफ रॉ मटेरियल विच लूज वेट इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ मैन्युफैक्चर और विच कैनॉट बी पियर हाई ट्रांसपोर्टेशन कॉस्ट और कैनॉट बी ट्रांसपोर्टेड ओवर अ लॉन्ग डिस्टेंस बिकॉज ऑफ देयर पेरिशेबल नेचर द जूट मिल्स इन वेस्ट बंगाल शुगर मिल्स इन उत्तर प्रदेश कॉटन टेक्सटाइल्स मिल्स इन महाराष्ट्र एंड गुजरात आर लोकेटेड क्लोज टू देयर रॉ मटेरियल फॉर द सेम रीजन industries like iron and steel which uses a very high quantities of coal iron ores losing out a lot of weight in the process of manufacturing are generally located near the source of coal or iron ore some of the industries like watch and electronic industries are uses very wide range of light raw materials and hanaus had to spend more uh, they will not lost in the process of transportation the result is that such industries are often located with no reference of raw material and sometimes refer as a footloose industry because a wide range of location is possible within an sufficient area of population dust, uh, density power regular supply of power is one of the requirement for the location of industries coal mineral oil and hydroelectricity are the three important convenient power sources which are used by the many industries the iron and steel industries which mainly depends on the large quantity of coal as their source of power frequently tied to coal field other like the electro chemical industries which are the great uses of cheap hydroelectricity power are generally found in the hydropower production for in for instance aluminium industries the petroleum can be easily piped and electricity can be transported over a long distance by wires it is possible to dis uh, to diverse the industries over a large areas industries move to the southern states only for the hydropower could be developed in this coal deficient areas thus more than all factors affecting the location of large and heavy industries quite often they are established at a point which has the best economic advantage in obtaining power and raw material tata iron and steel plant of jamshedpur is one of the example of this next point labor the labor force attract the industry unless there is a other reason labor supply is important for two aspects worker in large number often required for the process of production people with a skill or technical expertise all also required in the modern era though the mechanization has reduces the importance of worker still unskilled labor and skilled labor or semi skilled labor are also required for the process of production in these industries the location of any industrial unit is determined after the careful balancing of all relevant factors that the light consumer goods and agro based industry generally require plentiful labor supply transportation transport by land or water is necessary for assembly of raw material and of the marketing of finished products the development of railway in india concentrating port towns and concentrating port towns has determined the many industries location 
in Kolkata, Mumbai and Chennai. As industrial development also furthers the improvement of transportation facility, it is difficult to eliminate how a particular industry owes to the original transport facility available in particular area. Market The entire process of manufacturing useless until the finished goods reach to the market. Nearness of the market it's very essential to quickly uh, quickly dispose manufacture good it helps in reducing the transport cost and enables the consumer to get things at cheaper rate it is becoming more and more true that industries are seeking location near possible to market it has been remarkable that market attractions are now so okay that the market location in these increase regardless as normal one and the location else never to be to, to be needed strong justification water water is another important requirement for certain industries many industries are established near rivers canal and lakes because of water resources iron and steel industries textile industries and chemical industries require large quantities of water for their proper functioning location location of industries development are of considerable significance location should be flat and well served by the adequate transport facilities large areas are required to build factories climate climate plays an important role in the establishment of industries at a place harsh climate is not much suitable for the establishment of industry there can be no industrial development in extremely hot, humid, dry or cold climate. The extreme type of climate of Northwest India leads to the development of industries. Less development of the industries. In contradict to that, modern climate of Western coastal area is quite attracted and the leads to the development of industries. Because of this reason, about 24% India's modern industries and 30% of India's industrial labor is concentrated in Maharashtra and Gujarat region. Cotton textile industries require a humid climate because of the requirement of cotton production. Therefore, they are mainly concentrated in Maharashtra and Gujarat. Non-geographical factor Nowadays, alternate, alternative raw material also being used of a modern scientific and technological development. Availability of electric power supply over wider areas and the increasing mobility of labor have reduced the influences of geographical factor on the location of industries. The non-geographical factors are those including economic, political, historical and social factors. These are Capital. Modern industries are capital intensive and require a huge investment. Capitalization are available in urban areas. Big cities like Mumbai, Kolkata, Delhi and Chennai are big industrial centers because of the big capitalization availability of capital in these areas. Government policy. Government activities in planning the future distribution of industries for reducing regional disparities, eliminating pollution of air and water and for avoiding their heavy clustering in big cities has become no less importance in locational factors. There is an increasing trend to set up all the all types of industries in an area where they can drive a common advantage of water and power supply to each other the products they turn out. The latest example in our country is the establishment of large number of industrial estate all over the India, even in the small scale industrial sector. Availability of infrastructure. Industries tend to develop where the place of their original establishment. Availability of infrastructure such as transportation, communication for the further development of them. Today, due to a globalization, industries need to not not only need to communicate with all over the country but also all over the world. So the transport and communication plays an important role. Efficient organization. Efficient and 
एंटरप्राइजिंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड मैनेजमेंट इज इसेंशियल फॉर रनिंग मॉडर्न इंडस्ट्री सक्सेसफुली बैड मैनेजमेंट समटाइम्स समटाइम्स रिमूव द कैपिटल एंड पुट्स इंडस्ट्री इन फाइनेंशियल ट्रबल इट ऑल्सो हॉर्डल द लेबर फोर्स इफिशियंटली एंड टैक्टफुली रिजल्टिंग इन टू लेबर अनरेस्ट देर फोर स्ट्राइक्स एंड लॉकआउट्स विल बी रिजल्टेड hence there is an importance that efficient management of organization in the industry requires to run an industry moving forward factor influencing industrial location the main of choosing business location is to achieve balance between three related objectives to minimize the cost of operation to acquire more and more consumer services to supply their wants the potential revenue that can be achieved from the location the factors that influence the choice of uh, choice of business location can be divided into two broad categories the first is lab, uh, supply factors that is the mainly concern with the operating cost on the other hand demand factors which will be affected by the customer services and revenue we are going to start with the supply factor supply factor the first of the factor is labor cost if you are located in better production areas where the labor can be cheaply available the labor cost will be reduces in the production process cost uh, land cost the land will be purchased some sometimes it will be rented by the industry to build buildings and factories once a industries and the production establish a land a industries require a land for the further development of industries government grants and other incentives are also helpful availability to reduce the land cost of locating in poor regions energy cost some business are sus- uses sustain- uh, sustainable amount of energy but they should be able to negotiate a good price for their energy rates regardless of their location cost of transportation transport transport includes the cost of getting inputs into the business that is raw material other uh, <clears throat> other inputs and also the cost of getting product delivers to the consumers a business needs to be close to its source of supply if the cost of transporting raw material is high or difficult for many business the cost of distributing cost, uh, cost, customers is not a significant issue delivery firms must carry out the transportation example hotels community factor the cost of business location can be influenced by many non financial factors which can be make a significant choices of industrial location availability of local amenities and services like schools professional services local government attitude or to supporting business language and political stability moving forward demand factors customers convenience probably the most important factors many business need to be located where the consumers find it quick easy and cheap to access the services being produced example a fast food outlet needs to be somewhere close to a strong customer footfall not hidden away out of sight out of ta- town retail parks are suited within the convenient short drive for the major population centers labor skill where a specified labor skill are required then the this industries needs to be located near the labor's uh, labor provided area for example knowledge based industries usually located in urban areas where they can access a skilled labor easily site suitability a site may need to be give a some particular characteristics to maximize consumer satisfaction and revenue example a luxury restaurant or hotel needs to be located somewhere that a consumer find it attractive image this is more intangible but often important some consumers find that product in a certain areas and they prefer to buy 
over there. Example, a walking equipment, a business based in Lake District might enjoy a better prescribed reputation. Expansion potential. Future production capacity often has to be taken into account while establishing industries. A location might tick many other boxes, but it, if it is provided limited scopes for expansion, then it might be rejected. If a location restricts output, then the revenue are potentially damaged. Thank you students.